Have you been a part of these free record giveaways that we've been doing lately? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, stay tuned because in this show, perhaps in the middle, perhaps at the end, we're going to talk about how you can win free records as others have done recently here at Recordology. Welcome back to Recordology, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you've noticed the new branding on the site and just kind of polishing things up, tweaking the logos and the branding a little bit there, just to kind of mark passage of time as we have approached and passed our five year anniversary on this platform, which is crazy. But that is neither here nor there because today we're talking about a subject near and dear to my heart, records of course, but more specifically picture discs and why everything you know about them might be wrong. You're not going to want to miss this. Welcome to Recordology. By the way, I thought it would be really fun if we featured Walt Disney picture discs. I've got a bunch now, which I'm very thankful for, of picture discs in general. But I really love Disney, so this video is going to feature pretty much nothing but Disney media. With the exception of this record, because this is Rainbow Bright, which is not a Disney intellectual property. But it's very, very descriptive uh, of the story that I want to tell. Let me begin by making some assumptions about your opinions of picture discs. Number one, you shouldn't play them. You should display them. They don't sound good. And that's about all I know about picture discs. And they're not worth having. For the most part, they're just marketing gimmicks. Okay, I disagree with pretty much everything that I just said. To recap, let's just talk about what a picture disc is. A picture disc is a vinyl record that has a paper picture sandwiched between two clear layers of vinyl, one on the front, one on the back, for the most part. Because of that construction style, the groove is allegedly shallower than a regular record groove and therefore produces lower quality sound. And for this reason, a lot of people, probably almost everybody, has been told that you shouldn't play your picture discs. You should just display them as art. That is wrong. I am going to tell you, in my opinion only, with a lot of evidence, how pretty much everything you think you know about picture discs is wrong. Let us start with the display versus play argument. As you can see, this beautiful example of an early 1980s picture disc looks pristine. It looks beautiful. Somebody must have displayed this record and never played it. Well, you're right, but not for the reasons that you think. So, if we take this disc and flip it the other way around, you will notice that it looks dingy and yellow and the colors just aren't as bright as the other side. Well, that's because somebody probably displayed this record and didn't play it. It turns out that the resins or vinyl used to press a picture disc is clear at first, but over time changes color into a gross kind of yellow color when it's exposed to sunlight. So right there is all you need to know. Don't display your records. The sunlight is going to damage the color and you're gonna end up with a dingy, ugly looking picture disc. The next thing that I want to tackle is the notion that a picture disc does not sound good and you shouldn't listen to it. Now, what I'm unable to do in this episode, although I would love to do it, and perhaps we'll do it in the future, is to take an album with two different versions, a picture disc version and a regular version, and play them with a direct feed and really listen to them side by side to see how they differ. I admit there probably is slight differences if you're really listening, but the notion that a picture disc doesn't sound good is just wrong. So that one you're gonna have to take my word for, but I'm telling you, I've listened to a lot of picture discs on my nice sound system, and they sound fantastic. There's rich bass, there's very crisp highs. We are gonna listen to some records here, so stand by for that. But I wanted to kind of tell you my experience, my recommendation is that they do sound really, really good. And again, I've got a lot of non-children's related picture discs as well. And all of them, I can't think of a single one that doesn't sound good. The only ones that I can even think of that sound less than perfect to my ears are like vintage ones from the 50s that obviously 
are fighting against, you know, perhaps less than ideal recording conditions, children playing with them for decades, and the fact that, you know, they are very vintage. So if you're listening to a contemporary recording on a picture disc, a great example is my Michael Jackson Bad album on picture disc. That thing is so rich and so wonderful on my nice sound system. It sounds great. So listen to your picture disc. That's what I'm here to tell you. By the way, I think this is Disney's new way of packaging picture discs, which is good because they were packaged with those sort of TPU rubbery plastic sleeves and they kind of stuck to the record a little bit. And I I feel like it just wasn't a good ideal storage situation. So to see them put them in these cardboard envelopes with the plastic window, I think is good. And usually what you get is the window. You can tell this is used just from the standpoint of, well, it's not faced properly, but this picture of the actual record would be different from what they show you on the back. Usually they use this to kind of show you what's on the side. You can't see through the window, but The branding is consistent, as we're going to see with these three examples. They've got the franchise. They've got the color theming. They've got, obviously, a track listing, etc., etc. Disney is not a slouch in the record department. They've been producing quality records, either through Buena Vista, Walt Disney Records, Disneyland Records, etc., etc., for, you know many many years let's go ahead and open this there's no plastic wrap on this because it is used like i said and let's pull it out here very cool one thing uh if you're wondering if you have a new or old picture disc one of the easiest ways to tell is by looking at the edge if the edge is black it's almost always a contemporary modern picture disc vintage picture discs in fact let's look at a vintage picture disc Vintage picture discs like this Sugar Blues disc, this is made from a resin. You'll see how that edge is clear. That's the way a vintage picture disc looks. They also made reprints of these with the black edge. That's a way to tell a a Vogue original from a Vogue reprint. And like the modern records, this one is yellowed on one side from being exposed to light. So the concept of, see the beautiful coloring on this side versus the yellow on this side. The concept of play them, don't display them goes back all the way to the beginning. Why did why does this not surprise me? You got Sully on one side. You've got Mike on the other side. Look at the veins in his eye. His eye, literally his eye. But that is super, super cool. And these are just fun. Have fun with your records. This goes back to, you know, people taking this stuff so seriously. Like, that's not the appropriate way to listen to music. You've got to listen to a black record. And if it's not a black vinyl record, then you're you're not serious and all this stuff. Just relax and have fun. This is about physical media. This is about tactile interaction with that media. And having something that's cool to look at is another way to do it. All right, this guy's is brand spanking new. Uh, just bought this new the other day. This is obviously frozen. Yes, I will actually listen to this. You may be like, you're not really going to listen to that, right? But I actually will listen to this. This was $21. Picture discs can range from $21 all the way up to $29 for a new Disney picture disc. That's kind of my experience. Where can you find these if you're interested? Barnes & Noble has them. Sometimes Second & Charles has them. I've seen them at Cracker Barrel. So they are around. I would say Barnes & Noble is probably the surest bet. Uh, Let's go ahead and look at the back here real quickly. So again, the same kind of format, the track listing on both sides, the picture of the reverse side. Let's look up here. You can see all of the um, credits as it were. And this will sound good. This will sound good. We'll give it a listen. Probably let's listen to these new ones since they're brand new. By the way, a little insider knowledge. For those of you that aren't skipping to the end, assuming that's where it is, trying to find the tip about free records, uh, we've got a very interesting show coming this weekend, to say the least. This will be Sunday's show. And uh, it's a review of a product that, and I want to, I don't want to give too much away, but it's a review of a product that when it arrived, let's just say the dimensions weren't what I was expecting. Okay? It was uh, definitely a surprise. All right, let's take a look at this record. Oh, this is thick one too. This is super thick. 
Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. Look at the art. It's just so cool. Why not? Why not have fun? And you can still see the shine of the grooves there and where the label would normally be because there's the run out right there. Kind of hard to see. But where the label would normally be, this is, you know, non-playable, just kind of clear. Take a look at that. Isn't that cool? Anna and Elsa there. This movie really makes me think of my daughter because she was very, very much into this. So I got a lot of positive positive associations with Frozen. And yes, I even went out and watched the second one. I don't know if you guys will admit to it, but it's a good movie. It's a good movie franchise. And we went to uh, Walt Disney World this past, what was it, right after Christmas. And the, the Frozen ride is phenomenal. It's absolutely phenomenal. All right, so here we are, Tarzan, the same layout. We've got the different franchise, the different color to match the franchise. I love this vintage Disney picture disc logo up here. We can see Tarzan himself there. This is great Phil Collins music. If you're a Phil Collins fan, this one was $28, so a little bit more. And that's what the flip side is going to look like. Really, really cool. Even has in sync on there. That's interesting. Did not know that. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this one. And here we go. Awesome. Wow. Obviously, no surprise that Disney is going to absolutely own the art department. Look at that. Is that a hair on there? A little piece of plastic. Super, super cool, you guys. Really, really cool. And the flip side here, just beautiful. Look at that. I love it. Again, you can see all the tracks up there. Kind of hard to find your place sometimes on a picture disc in terms of queuing up a, tr a track or a song. It's best to kind of let it play through, but it can be done. It, you look at it in the right angle, you can sort of see, like you can see there where the tracks are. So cool. So there are some cool picture discs. Let's listen to some now. We will be using the wonderful Victrola Revolution Go portable. This is going to be ambient. We're just going to listen in the room. However, the speaker on this and the speakers are excellent. And we'll be using the front facing stereo microphone. So let me switch over the mic. And we'll skip through and listen to some various tracks on each one of these records. If I didn't have you to serve, Right out here for you, just let me in. The wind is howling like this swirling storm. Reindeers are better than people. He's just a bit of a fixer upper. He's got a couple of bucks. Finally, I just want to kind of point out that there is so much in the Disney music universe specifically as it relates to physical media. In this shot, you've got a lot to look at, including the records we looked at tonight, and a couple that you may not have seen before. I got my beautiful white vinyl pressing of Aladdin, my beautiful green vinyl pressing of Encanto. Actually, that's not mine, that's my wife's. And that is a fantastic record, by the way. So much color, beautiful music by Lin-Manuel Miranda. And there's just, you know, they're, they're into things like pressing, colored vinyl, pressing picture discs, having inserts like that poster of Encanto that you see on the left. And there's also a full lyric sheet, fully illustrated music sheet, full color, glossy music book, really, as a part of that Encanto release, which is phenomenal. And I would encourage you to keep an eye out for some of your Disney favorites on physical media. This beats streaming Hands down. We even got Avengers there spinning there. So a, kind of a slight, I was like, how far can I take this? Because you go down the road of Star Wars and I've got a bunch of Star Wars stuff. And we didn't even look at any of the vintage Disney stuff that I have, which is, you know, crates and crates full of vintage Disney. Uh, but I wanted to point out too here, this awesome compact disc. This is a, a new CD of Mary Poppins Returns. 
they're using these digi packs now more than anything. So instead of the old jewel cases, it comes with like a cardboard flap and then the disc itself is there, you know, pretty much what you'd expect for a CD. But what I love about it is Disney's including, you know, bonuses and things. So you get the booklet, which true to Disney form is, you know, fully illustrated pictures, you know, behind the scenes stuff, et cetera, et cetera. But they also include in this case, some pictures on this beautiful matte photo paper, I guess you would call it, just kind of this matte textured picture of some of these renderings, concept drawings, which is cool, you know what I mean? Like something to hold, something to look at, something beyond just listening to a digital streaming file that you don't own. With physical media, you own it, you touch it. It pulls you away from whatever you're doing and it pulls you into the world of the music and the story at hand. I am just raising my hands up right now because this is one of the reasons why I love vinyl, I love physical media, and I hope you do too. Okay guys, and that is going to do it for today's show. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, consider a thumbs up, doesn't cost a penny. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and make sure to hit that bell notification. And on the subject of that almighty bell notification, I wanna talk about those free records. So it is true, we're giving away records. We've done a lot of giveaways throughout the five year history of this show, including many record player giveaways, many record giveaways, accessory giveaways, etc. Right now, I have too many records. Sounds like a YouTube channel I've heard of. Anyway, we've got too many records around here and it's time to give some of them to you. How can you win some of these free records? Well, the key is subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you get the notice when we go live because it is in our lives over the next couple of weeks or few weeks that we are going to be giving those away. And we do contests and fun things and we just did some the other day. Now, if you missed the live, we may or may not post that video, so you may not even know it happened. So I don't want you guys missing out on all of that cool stuff. So definitely hit subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff. Well, my friends, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so very much for being there and for watching. God bless you guys. Happy record hunting, and we'll see you next time.